Good morning. This is the October 13th meeting of the reuse committee. No longer a subcommittee. Uh, and on our agenda, did everybody have a chance to look at the minutes? One question that I had, um, we, uh, John was out and so we had others taking notes and we didn't write down who was present. Mm -hmm. So I, I wanted to ask those of you who were present, was, I, I, I wasn't sure about Alan or Debbie. Were they both here? Uh, Alan was here. Alan was here. And uh, Debbie. Debbie, I don't think was here. Mac, do you have any memory? I don't think so. Did okay. she say goodbye? Okay, so I did. No, she did that. But she she did. sent an email around. She sent an email, but uh, I don't think she came to Okay, so that would make sense. I knew that there would. I, I had one person in here that, that wasn't here, but I didn't remember who it was. So, so you think Alan was here and Debbie was not? I will confirm with you. Any other comments? So it says minutes of 8 416 meeting. Sorry. Reading that right? No, there's uh, September 8. Yes, so that would have been August. The minutes of August were minutes approved. August yeah. meeting were approved. Oh, I see approved. Yeah. Sorry. Thanks. Well, the only question I had was on the, um, the logic of the, at, uh, the advertising being excluded from totals. <clears throat> um, not charged account, but the ilk will be going forward, the tax of classifieds, the percentage uh -huh. tax. So, I mean, based on that, we would already have a loss if we include 600 on the tax sale. So. <clears throat> no, because our, we've accrued a certain amount of money. It, but it is in effect, I mean, if I'm looking at kind of annual or fiscal or whatever, uh -huh. we, we've already lost some money this year. Yeah, I mean, effectually. Right? Yes, but we yeah. also get, <coughs> we also get, um, we tend to have donations from the toy exchange that yeah. help pay, but the toy exchange is also one of the more expensive advertising yeah. opportunities. Now, yeah, the, we can talk about that. Um, the, the grant that we have will pay for advertising for some events um, or some advertising. So we could probably, I could probably arrange to like have a certain amount set aside to help pay for advertising. Uh, but I need to work that out with Donna and the So you don't know specifically which ones? They'll give, which one? You said they'll pay for some events. Well, it, it, there's a publicity option that, that you can pay for publicity, um, and that's where we're going to be able to pay for the postcard for next year. Um, so pay for advertising, you know, it's uh, outreach. So I don't think that they would have a problem with using some of it for advertising our Is that only good for 2016? That was the original plan. That we were about that. Do I have a motion to uh, pass the minutes? Or any comments, motion. questions? Yeah. Okay, motion to pass, pass the minutes as written with the who was present edits. Second. Second, okay. Any, anybody have a problem? All right. Moving ahead to the recenter report, operations update. Okay, that, absolutely. We have three more sessions left before the end of the season. Uh, things continue to go well. Um, last weekend we had slightly over 50 people taking things away and a bunch more coming to donate things. Um, we are, I've had a little bit of discussion with Susan about the end of the season closing plans, um, which, you know, I'm going to suggest that we think about having um, 
a work day out there in November, you know, possibly the second or third weekend, Saturday of November, um, in order to clear out stuff that really we don't want to deal with anymore to recycle it or throw it away or set it aside for possible use by the refugees or the Salvation Army. But there's a certain amount of sorting that needs to be done. Last year what we did was tried to clear out the space as much as we could so that in the spring before we reopen, we can do a deep cleaning. And also if we want to change the space around at all, we don't have to move all the stuff. Um, I'm hoping that the, with roof work is done, and, I, and it hasn't been done as of yesterday, um, when the roof work is done, that will make a more space available in the annex, more waterproof space available in the annex to box up some stuff and store in there, and uh, that could be part of a, of a work day in November, um, and we'll probably get started. What do we need to store in there? Well, I'm thinking, for example, we have a lot of, we get a lot of housewares, and there's too many for our shelves in the main space, and if that's something that the refugee folks might have an interest in. So we could box it up, in cardboard boxes, indicate what it was, and uh -huh. then put it in the annex until such time as there's a distribution. And why couldn't we just leave it on the shelves? Well, again, we, we could leave some of it on the shelves uh -huh. in there, but ultimately um, we want to be able to, I, I guess if it's boxed up and easily movable, that's fine. But um, I think it is good to try to do a certain amount of shelf clearing and organization and, and thinning stuff out at that point. It's not like we need to get rid of everything, but there is some stuff in there that has languished all year and, and probably nobody's going to want. Uh -huh. So, at any rate. Unless you take it home, put it out. Well, you know, <laughs> some, some, it right some, it, that doesn't always work. I would say it works at least half the time, but it um, doesn't always work. So, well, so um, but before we move on, if I can interject, yeah, yeah. A, a work day, um, November 5th is going to be difficult because we right. have the we have another rally. Event. The 12th is a possibility. Um, the 19th is a possibility. It gets chilly. Yeah. The day. Yeah. You wear layers out there in November yeah. if you need to. But Matt, what kind of work are you thinking about? Um, the kind of stuff I mentioned, like sorting stuff out that so needs to be recycled. Not rearranging the the room, not more so about dealing with the stuff that's, the stuff that's there. Clearing, right. sorting, uh, weighing. Yeah. We'll want to make sure we capture what we yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. And there's always stuff to do, like if we have some furniture that could use a paint job, we can set people up to do some painting and then it'll spiff it up and make it more attractive for next season. Mm -hmm. There's always lots of stuff to do out there. So sure. Um, well, we, w what if we said the 12th with a rain date of the 19th? I go. What? Um, I am. I am in great need of uh, recharging my batteries back home for a little while, and um, the, uh, I was looking at being gone. But this, you don't need to be out there for the, the work yeah. day. Well, but I need to be out here for a meeting. That's it. Well, unless we change Yeah, and I'd like to take pictures for a work day. So then we also talked about having um, a celebration of some kind. It doesn't have to happen after the work day. But it would be nice to have a, you know, second year, yay, you know. Um, you know, I was hoping to have a going away party for Debbie. So that could be a combination oh, of the two nice. things. I emailed her to find out when she was leaving, but she hasn't gotten back to me. She um, she said she's probably going to be around. I just spoke with her yesterday, I think. She said she's probably going to be around until about mid-November. So then that um, would work maybe very well. end of November. We could either do it on the 5th uh -huh. after uh, the recycling event, like uh -huh. in the afternoon, uh -huh. or we could do it the following maybe. weekend after a work morning. Either way, but uh -huh. I volunteered my house to have oh, it there. Oh, that's nice of you, David. Thank you. It's really nice of you. Um, and we have a caterer then if you're there. Yes. <laughs> well, so, so yeah, so I, I mean, it makes sense to do it soon. So let's let's shoot for the 12th. And um, oh, that's great news. You're not leaving till then. That makes things a lot easier. What? 
that she's that she's not leaving yeah. if we're gonna have a party for her yeah well let's shoot for the, yeah. for the work day because i am and certainly then, uh thankful for all the work that she's done she and the energy that she has of, brought yeah. a lot of yep. energy into what um into our our projects and um we could have a costume party <laughs> <laughs> she would love that. Yeah, she would. That would be she great. She would love that. Oh, <laughs> oh the, the Turn off the running. tape. <laughs> Debbie, don't don't be watching this. Um, so so if November twelfth is our is our plan for the work day with with a rain a rain date so to speak of the nineteenth um, as a second day, right? Yeah. Back. Yeah, that sounds um, good. Uh, and then for a potential going away party and yay the end of the our second season we would be looking at the 12th the 12th possibly we, we should have the party whether we have the work day that day or not because so she may not be assuming around assuming that, that she's day. available yeah did i hear that both on the same day yes yeah, okay and the, if it would uh it would be the what what time of day afterwards or right, right after okay. yeah maybe an hour later okay. um uh mac i thought Saturday was really fun at the recenter. I mean, we had an hour of constant people, and we only had four volunteers. You and me, and uh, who else was there? Um, well, let's see. Uh, oh, um, the Elizabeth Salaka. Right, who worked out really well. Yep. Uh, and then uh, Tam, or was it? Uh, Tammy came, but she didn't really work. Right, and then but there was the woman that came for an eight to ten. She, there was a Diana was in and out a little yeah, bit. There was the other woman, uh, Karen. Karen. Oh, Karen, right? She's always great. Well. Yeah, yeah, she's terrific. Four people is Karen who? Karen Thomas. Thomas. Yeah. She's great. Yeah, she's very good too. So yeah, it worked out fine. We're <laughs> I, I signed up last night to do this weekend, and I, nobody else had signed up yet. So. For the supervisor. Y yes. Are there no volunteers either? Not, not as of last night. Okay, so, so I'll send an email out. Yeah, so we'll do some, but yeah, it was great. I mean, it's it's very the, the feeling is very positive and fun, and um, you know, it's just it's a great feeling out there right now, which you know we, we want to preserve and build on basically. Um, We're getting a lot of repeat. Customers. Yeah, there's there's probably a core of about maybe 10 people that are serious regulars that come just about every weekend right you know but that's that's, that's sally was there too sally white yes yeah, sally did, oh, did sally did oh, intake nice. yeah she did intake she there. had been absent because she had to go into boston every weekend for a while but she's been there a couple of times now yeah great oh, right. yeah. so yeah it's it's i think it's it's just rip roaring right now it's doing really well um Next Wednesday, I believe, Eco Building Bargains is supposed to come and go through the annex and wherever to see if which will be good as an end of the season clear out exercise too. Um, I think traffic is working better. Yeah, I, I see fewer people trying to leave through the entrance. Yeah, yeah, people are getting it. I think. People are getting it. Yeah. yeah, there's a learning curve and it's working. Great. Yeah. So. I told. Um, I'm sorry. Are you Go ahead. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. This is interactive. We have other. Okay. Uh, well, I told uh, the group on Tuesday that I had spent some time out at the South Hadley swap shop, and I took a bunch of pictures. So I um, I just need to download. I'm having trouble downloading them into my computer, but um, maybe at the at your party or something. It was it was quite disorganized. The, the, they only had one volunteer there, um, and the gatekeepers make decisions as to whether the fee should be paid or not. And most of, most of the time, they are not. So the the South Hadley is picking up the tab for disposing and stuff. Um, so it was it was also mostly outside. They have uh, very few covered spaces, and they just put tarps over things. Um, and keep dishes and stuff like that outside. And they have limits. 15 
minutes and five things, right? Is that right? Yeah. No wow. more than 15 minutes, five items, and you can come back once. Do they really need that rule? I don't know. We can find out. I mean, because I believe so. I believe there have been some problems. We had been talking about the same thing when, before we opened, and we certainly have not needed that rule. Well, we don't have the traffic, though, that some of these other places have. I mean, you know, we talk about how we want, um, you know, how we'd like more traffic, and with more traffic sometimes comes other issues. Right. So we have to be prepared for that right. as, as things continue to grow. We got it here. We have a lot more. Oh, yeah. And so we have another set of issues to deal with. Mm -hmm. yeah. That will manage that. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> At the time. Right. Did you have something else, Matt? Well, I was just going to say, this is kind of a new business thing, too, but um, I think another great way to promote what we're doing would be to, this every, on this, this past weekend, you know, there's the Pulaski Parade in Northampton, and basically community groups are invited to have a contingent in the parade. And um, the recenter or the reuse committee could have a contingent, and we, we could. We are in Florence. You in the Florence? We are. Is that, that's where the parade is, right? Is it no, in Florence? This is on, oh, it's, it's in Northampton. King Street. I the, see. Down, it comes down on King Street and it goes up to Pulaski Park. Uh huh. And, um, you know, we could have scepters made out of reused materials. <laughs> we could have music made out of reused. What is this? It's, it's Columbus every Day. Columbus, oh, okay. now known as Indigenous Peoples Day weekend. Right. So every year. I think that would be a lot of fun. So that would I'm, be delightful. I'm saying it right now. we got a year to think about it. I yes. think that's a great and, idea, Mac. And I, um, the, the committee in Salem, uh, the, the Waste and Recycling Committee in Salem, participates in their parade, or at least they did once. And they did, um, they all took wheel toters and they and they, they practiced and they did a formation. They did a routine like a marching band does, pushing wheel toters. Yeah. Um, you know, there is the, the costume parade in Florence in a few weeks. We don't have to wait a whole year to, I mean, that's, that's a great free way to promote the recenter. I mean, it's the end of the season, so maybe it doesn't, right. maybe we need to look for a parade on Memorial Day. Yeah. The nice thing about the, the Pulaski one is, it's a great time to pass out the free tickets for the end of the season, you know, because there's only a few more sessions, and so you can draw in people that have never been out there. Um, so that's another thing right. to think about. Yeah. I All love right. that anyway. idea. I love that idea. So, so, so I actually, mm -hmm. I actually handed out six of those to people. Uh huh. Yes, they. Well, so you only got three chances. Here are the. Uh, business cards. You guys are welcome to take some. This is the generic kind. The blue is the generic business card. It's a recenter business card. So you're welcome to take some and keep in your wallet. It has the map on the back and um, instructions for our website and Facebook page. I'd like a few. Um, the yellow ones are for, uh, are for free visits to the recenter. And um, I put 2016 on them. My original thought was it was only for the year, but I think that if people bring them next spring, if somebody hangs on to this and brings it in the spring, I say let them in. You know, <laughs> I don't right. have a problem with right. that. Right. Um, and so I wanted to make sure. Did you need some I, I'll more? I'll take some more. Yeah, I mean, and, and at this point, we're, I think it's fine to, you know, we don't want to give out hundreds, but. Um, for you guys to give, uh, hand out some, I think it's entirely appropriate. I have some, Mac gave some. Mac gave some. Okay. Um, and then, um, yeah, so feel free to take some of the business cards. And um, I have a, a very fun announcement, and that is that as of 7 a.m. this morning, God willing, the roofer is out at the transfer station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. a few good days. Yep, yep. So we're looking at hopefully, I assume they're going to work tomorrow too, but hopefully it'll, it'll be done by, uh, by Friday. All right. Should, should, should we move on to administrative yes, change? Yes, please. Let's go. Administrative change. Uh, actually, can we do event updates first? Sure. Because I wasn't Tag sale, Peter. 
Okay. <clears throat> um, well, is, is that growing, Peter, or is it pretty much 40, the same people? 45, I think we had. Um, and I saw faces I hadn't seen before. Less, um, a lot, lot less commercial. I can update on that. We had 42 participants that came on the rain date, 14 of no shows. So that would have been 56 participants, which nice. is very good. Um, but paid, right? Paid. paid. Well, no, uh, it would be 54 of them were paid. Two people signed up and said that they paid the day of, they did not show. Uh, so they, so had we been filled, they, those spots would not have been preserved for them. But, um, and then we had a, one person that came with a friend that ended up paying. So um, we, uh, if I can just go ahead and uh, give the whole spiel. We, um, we, so with some other uh, payments that are due in, we would have brought in $540. Um, from the registration fees. We have spent, or we will have spent, for the entire event, $765, That is from classified ads that I did twice, um, Facebook boosts that was, uh, I did one, uh, twice. Um, Does that cost? It doesn't cost much, but, so the classifieds are $30 for three days, um, online and in print. Facebook boosts, I did two, um, and it reached you know many, many people, and that was $27 between the two, two of them. The advertising in the Gazette, we ran three times on a sat previous Saturday, the Wednesday before, and then in Hampshire Life the Friday before. Then when we postponed it for the rain day, they gave us a free run. Nice. Um, in the Friday section A of the following week. So that cost $536. And that's very good because it's a full color ad, so that's a very good price. This is the ad. Yep. And then um, we have to pay to have the bathrooms open $35 an hour. So that's about $140. So with the, it's subtracting the $540 income that we have for this event. Um, it's a, we're, it's, we're $224 in arrears, so to speak. Now, I, um, again, going forward, will likely be able to take some of that advertising expense um, onto the grant. But is the lesson for future years that we should be charging $15 instead of $10? I mean, is that really going to make a difference? And who's going to come? Probably not. Probably not. Just another five dollars. Yeah. So I think it'd be pretty easy to cover those yeah, costs. Yeah, I thought the same. Uh huh. Um, now that also assumes that we would have fifty some people that That's right. would participate. Right. In past years, sometimes we've just had thirty. Mm -hmm. So um, I think I think the word is building. Um, my concern is that I. I, I would rather it not be something that a bunch of professional sellers um, are, are our base. It's really nice to have the people who were most thrilled were the people who filled up their car and brought it. And I had a number of people as I went around collecting signatures and stuff um, saying, this is really great, thank you so much for doing this. So um, the, you know, the professional sellers don't, you know, they just kind of, you to be there, <laughs> you yeah. know, so they're not quite as, as uh, full of gratitude. And one thing that I would like to think about is how to target more apartment dwellers and people who don't want to have garage sales. And so that's something that, that we can think about for next sure. year. <coughs> uh -huh. So that's what I had to report. Well, yeah. I'll pick right up on that, yeah. <laughs> which is um, we had a table set up for the recenter, which Jenny? Jenny Grant, <clears throat> which is good. I also think we could make use of the people coming to potentially have them the following year or the next time they have a tag sale. You know, let them think about setting up them themselves. So giving out some sort of a handout or having it on the participants, the uh, participating um, 
tag sale is <clears throat> so that people can say, oh, you do, you, I can do a tag sale here too, because it's already an audience that's sort of interested. So, you know what I mean? Oh, you mean the people who are coming the to let them know that? The people who are coming to let them know. Yeah, that's a great idea. And in, in, in what, how, how would on you do piece, that? On some kind of you know, piece of paper or something. Or just get next year? Yeah. Or something like that? Yeah. Next year, if they wanted to go to an online to get more information or join the mailing list or something, that would do it that way because that's people there and they have an interest. And I know some of them because they would, they, they would be interested. Russ was there, for instance, he set up. Um, <clears throat> so, on the logistics, it was pretty good except for the parking. The parking ended up being a bit of a problem. I had one interaction with one lady who drove in a big black SUV and went <laughs> like right in parking against the football field. Oh, uh -huh. And I said, wait, wait. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and then she comes and says, you know, you were really rude to me. I said, I'm sorry. <laughs> and she said, I, just I apologize. I just yeah. couldn't be bothered to get into her with her. Right. But she went, I'm, I'm thinking we need to keep the area where we're set up, uh -huh. not public parking, because yeah. it means a lot of cars are going in and out of there to park, and it it felt dangerous, especially um, you know with a lot of traffic where we don't want it happening. Right. Once, once the thing is, there is room so for. It would be nice to have one lane that people, if they have to, if for they pick absolutely up. have to, or pick up. Pick up know, is fine. Yeah. yeah, but the cones, so that uh -huh. if they go, it would there'd be one sign saying. Um, and it says volunteers, participants, and pickup only. So that's what I see there. I also see that we also have room for at least 58 people without even using any other spaces because I think there's 58 spaces if I remember. I don't have that so you think you were near capacity? No, yes, I think for everyone had been there. We had a bunch of people that didn't show up. Well, yeah. Okay, but, but 58 you think is capacity? No, the, it, it would be more if we use the area along the football field. The and so, and so what's the reason that we don't? For, for setting up, not for parking. Yeah, I know. There's a center portion that what, were, that has about 40, uh, sorry, like um, 30 spots. So we can put 30, you know, about 30 people here, 30 people here, and it's a really nice setup. That They're that would allow that allows the so lane the along the, the building. Mm -hmm. As and the lane the along the, the football field free. And so Peter's saying that we can we could fill those with people if we want. Yeah, um, and there they would park parallel instead of what we're doing now is boot sale, basically. Or boot sale mm -hmm. or lift the trunk and right. sell. So something to think about. The um, bathrooms at thirty five dollars an hour and I did get Two people said, oh, I wish the bathrooms were still open because it closed at noon. Um, but we could look into the cost of quarter parties. That's yeah. what they do at all the flea markets, basically. I, I did at one point, mm -hmm. and I think that it was, you know, it's hundred dollars. Is it hundred yeah. something? Yeah, I mean, we, I, I, I did look money. into that. <coughs> well, I can look into it again, but at the time, it was like there's no point. Yeah. It was a wash. Yeah. Because then you have to be there, you have to make sure that yeah. they deliver at a certain time, and yeah. they pick up at a certain time. And, right. and it's a port fun. It's a port fun, right. Well, I, um, if we're going to have to pay that, I think we should think next year about using the cafeteria for something. Uh -huh. what, but to offset, again, to offset the cost of the $35 uh -huh. an hour times uh -huh. four or five, whatever it is, which uh -huh. to me is a lot of money. So if we, in effect, then said, oh, that's rent, because we're going to do an indoor event there, it could be a clothing thing. But just to bring in some more revenue to cover that cost. Mm -hmm. so, right? Well, you know, Whatever. we talked about yeah. we talked about costume swap. You know, is that something yeah. we want to re, re... We had a group that was willing to run it, or to some volunteers that were willing to take it on, like Debbie did mm -hmm. for various things. So, you know, whatever, baking, the clothes, anything just to get some more revenue in for that, <coughs> so that we, we could all, I don't like red, red numbers, <laughs> I don't like red numbers at the 
bottom line. If we, you know, looking for a little revenue, we could have we could put aside some stuff at the recenter and um, have a silent auction or raffle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Right yeah. The text yeah. That's we did talk about that last week, and there's there are a few things that we're going to need revenue for, but but that doesn't you know it doesn't mean we can't make some revenue. Yeah. So we thought if we asked for the participants for feedback surveys, what could make it better? We are going to, yeah, I, I need to send that out. I meant, to do, it yes, I meant, to, I meant to do it um, yesterday. It would be nice to give them to them at the end. I know they're tired, but it was simple yeah. enough. They could just check it out. I'm sure, sure we get a lot more responses if we ask for it. Like, you know, they could be sitting down towards yeah. the end of the event. How's it going for you? You know, it gets kind of slow. And that would get a lot more response back. What would make it better for you? Right. Well, I um, have I have some experience with those um, um, can't uh, you know those types of evaluations. And when you evaluate people immediately after the event, you do get a higher return rate. But they call them smile sheets because okay. it's like you're at the end of the day. They, you know they're tired right. or whatever. They don't right. think about deeply about if it's really you know their ideas and stuff. Whereas if you wait a little while, the people who are passionate are going to have some ideas of how to promote it. They're going to, you know, they're going to think, well, if only they had done this. And you don't necessarily think of that on the day of, you know. Um, so there's some pros and cons. There's, um, it's good to do that, and it's not horrendous not to do it, but you should do it soon. And, and I need to get that out. To do both and have a handout there, right? <clears throat> you know, for those that right. do send well, it, just, email them yeah. another time, you know, because we're still looking like a second day. It's, yeah, it's, it's something that's to collate and read them and everything, and I, I'm not willing to do it twice. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'd be interested in reading them, so I'd be working on that. Okay. Well, that'd be a subcommittee task. Yeah. For the, for the, for the tax sales, the tax sales subcommittee. So Colin, um, the reason, David, that you were so useful when you were managing the parking is that I, I noticed in the parking area they kept getting further and further across, which was starting to cut off the traffic lane. You had to go tell some people, no, please don't park there. But if we had cones there, cones basically across from where the major parking lot is uh -huh. right, right at the edge there uh -huh. because they kept you know they kept infringing into the roadway itself well not using oh, parking you spots. Mean well they were going the throughway yeah they were oh, really? they were across you know cars uh -huh. were having to then make a go around it okay bit. so I think that should be and then you did have a sign for additional parking which was the first parking lot as you go into Smith Boat. so that would be the overflow Right. We also had a uh, Smith Vogue event. Yep. There was a open the farm open house, so that brought people in, and that kind of exacerbated the parking challenges. It's good and it's bad. Yeah, it's yeah. good and it's bad. It brought a lot of people, and in fact, one of the one of the sellers was really pleased. That she said, "We should, you know, oh, it's Patty Judy's. Mm. She said we should look to try to co coordinate. coordinate with them more often because she said that she felt that it brought a lot of family." Um, just a few little things. If, <clears throat> if the um, if we had no entry before 7:30 to the people setting up, that would. Uh, what what time was that lady there? At six o'clock. It was. I was dark. there at 6:50, and she was there already. Well, so yeah, that was. One, that was one more minute, Peter. Yeah. Um, yeah Times the parking attendant all time. Da da da. Fancy parking. It's really. Pick up only can adjust policy in case of two rain doubts. Yes. First of all, we didn't get we didn't get into the advocate for the first time <coughs> I've ever. We did put it in the for the first sale. The same thing was true of the um, uh, Hampshire Life. Um, they didn't put it in the second time, I believe, in the freebie. Uh -huh. it, so we've got to figure out a way to make sure that the rain date. Well, not it was only in the freebie ad. It wasn't in. Calendar, exactly. Yeah. So he didn't put it in the calendar. And it, and it wasn't in the calendar in the Gazette either. Um, so we 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 really need to make sure the rain date. And they didn't put the rain date in either the first time. So we had to, Susan had to call and say, 
done with our main event. Other than that. Any other questions for Peter about the event? All right, John, the rally. Uh, we're in good shape for all the uh, the structural pieces. Mm -hmm. Seth, you got my email about I did. Yeah, we'll, we'll need volunteers. So I, are you contacting the Key Club? I did. Because I, I don't know how to school. Um, I've become a parent advisor, but oh. they haven't included me on any emails. Or any. Yeah. Do you know the guy that runs it? Whitney? Whitney Russell. Yeah. Russell. Yeah, and, and I, I talked to him. He has a student. I couldn't tell you now who it is. But Lily? Lily um, Snodgrass, Julia. Oh, she's the president, yeah. yeah right. Um, but And then there's the Interact Club, there's the Honor Society, there's the Environmental Club. So, so you're I contacting all of them? I contacted them, right. I got a couple responses, but having adults would be really helpful. And having the recenter closed in November. Last year we had a lot of adults. We did? So I know. Are we doing we pumpkins again? Pumpkins, yes. uh, styrofoam. But not Pelopags. Pelopags is spring, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, not Jimmy and Chuck are. They're in. Are, are in. Oh, they're right. already. Oh, good. I believe, yeah, I believe they're, so. I don't know if the they've signed up. But they haven't. I, I will. Uh, I'll probably do a sign up genius for volunteers for that weekend. Okay, great. Thanks. Um, I have handouts. If uh, there there's some colored ones and some black and white ones here, for uh, if, you, if any of you are in spaces where you can put them up. I, I thought, um, Matt, you, don't you work out at the Senior Center? Mm -hmm. Could you put some up at the Senior Center? Yeah. I also have I some handouts here. here. Nice. Very nice. You can do those. Also. Okay. Love it. Um, so it was interesting. Um, Florence isn't a big deal. I passed them out in Florence. But Northampton, this year seems to be a particularly busy season. So all the places where there are flyers are packed. Yeah. And uh, usually yeah. there's like old ones. I take them down. For right. Them. But they're not. They're, they're right. So I've been putting the little ones up because there's no need for the big ones. Yeah. So. But yeah, any place you can find a spot, that'd be great here. So guys, I've been posting this. Um, uh, I don't. I don't. I, I like it digital because I send everything out digitally. I've been posting the stuff about the November fifth on Facebook, and it's been getting a lot of press. Great. Um, I posted. I made an event. Um, Mayor Narkowitz just. Posted um, the the so I posted it as a post and then I made an event which also sends it out and so I'm looking here um, ten people have liked the event let me see if I, let me see if I go in here it says uh, I mean they looked at it and said oh, good idea fifty three people like. say that they're coming right. so far coming thirty three hundred thirty nine are in fifty three. 339 say that they're, so it's getting a lot of coverage. Good, good. 339 people say they're inter interested, and that's just on the event. Oh. If you look at the posting I did, um, I updated the cover photo, and that got a lot of press, and then I updated the profile picture, and that got a lot of press, and then yesterday I posted the event and also just the posting of, of this picture pictorial thing and that's the thing that Mayor Narkowitz had uh, reposted so it's been shared nine times and 840 people have seen it so um, and <clears throat> so people are talking about it you can tell by by uh, the comments uh, somebody said it how, you know how expensive are things you know they, they I, I, I posted the picture of the plastic swap so, um, this is really good. It's it is. It's it looks clear. Very nice. Nice job. Really good. Thank you. The press release was good. Totally yeah, the press release went out. Yeah. So we're, we're in good we're shape. In good shape. I'll put this up with your research. Excellent. 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 Okay. Okay. So, um, but, oh, you know what? I have something in, uh, no. Toy exchange? Toy exchange. There's not a whole lot of news on the toy exchange front. We, front. we need to get get talking about that. Ellen has a volunteer. Elaine? Elaine. Do I know her? I don't know. She's, she's yeah. out on Wednesdays. Yeah. She's tall, slim, dark hair. No, no. This is Elaine. Oh, Elaine. She's, she's short. <laughs> no glasses. Elaine Finley? Yeah. yeah. She's been a terrific volunteer. Oh, good. She helped out last what's, year. And what's your connection? She's a friend of Debbie's. 
Well, what's her connection with the toy exchange? She's connected with the Reed Center, and yesterday she told me she wanted to work at the toy yeah. exchange. Oh, oh, she helped out last year. Oh, good. Yeah. So, good. yeah, I can't think of much else other than this. There's no time for it at all. So, Organized. if we can move on to Recycle America That's Day next. real quick. Um, that is November 14th, and I wanted to see um, if you guys had any ideas of some something we could do in the past in Amherst. Uh, we wrote a letter to the editor. We, you know, it's nice to somehow market with something that raises some interest and educates people. There's been a lot of um, talk about the um, what's it called? The how lucrative recycling is because of some of the markets have been down, and um, so there's getting some pushback from, for instance, the CEO of Waste Management has been talking about it, and, and other places as well. There are costs to recycling, and that's one of the reasons why the whole concept of reuse is so exciting to me, is that it really trumps, uh, to use a poor, <laughs> poor verb, um, it trumps recycling and, and, and so many of the costs involved in recycling if we can get people to reuse things. So um, that's one of the, my personal motivations with reuse. Um, so, but on the other hand, it's very it's very important for many materials, and it's important. It's been a great way to raise awareness of how much, how many materials and resources that we use. In the United States. So, Recycle America Day. Um, it's a have Monday. Any ideas? It's, a Monday. it's a Monday. What day of the week? Monday. Monday. What was it? Fourteen November. Um, some ideas that I've seen are um, a recycling event, which we're holding on November 5th. We could, you know, just kind of uh, maybe <coughs> maybe write a letter to the editor and, and talk about our November 5th event and get that in there in early November. Um, we could, uh, uh, one suggestion is a plastic bag and film recycling event, that one really thrill me, but it's okay. I'll put it out there anyway. Um, electronic re electronics recycling event. Well, um, we collect electronics. How about a wrap-up on the recent? The season will have just concluded. Uh, we can uh, talk about the amount of weight that was diverted. Right. And just celebrate the recenter. Well, you know, David, that's an excellent thought because we also spoke at the recenter meeting on Tuesday about making a presentation the city council, and maybe that's what we need to do, is tie it in with Recycle America Day. And because um, then we could, we wanted to present the annual report from last year, which is old, but, um, and then we could have the fresh statistics and do it in honor of America Recycles Day because mm -hmm. we're pulling this stuff out of the right. police street. That's an excellent idea. So and we'll we can just also report a little bit on what happened on November 5th. Um, some idea of the volume of stuff that we, yep. uh, so and we can point out to the public there's a difference between reuse and recycling and recycling is good but reuse is better and we can promote the toy exchange yeah. oh yeah, so, yeah. Toy exchange. And talk about the tax sale everything we do when we reuse something um, we don't have to you know go into detail about all of it so a letter to the editor statistics. of the Gazette and a presentation to the city council. <laughs> and a plug for the uh, Facebook page because you plug put a lot of reuse stuff on there. Page and um, I suspect, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. So I will I will get in touch with um, with the mayor's office to see if we could get on the agenda for uh, the day closest the city council mm -hmm. meeting closest to 
American Disciple Day. Great idea. Yeah, and then you contact the Gazette, you can write, you can just write a, a note to the editor of the Gazette and ask if there could be a guest column instead of a letter to the editor, and that sort of elevates it a little bit. That's mm -hmm. for that day, a lot of that Monday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I mean, that, that also gives you a little bit more, I think, a, mm -hmm. of space to write in. Monday is the business day, I think, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Philosophically, recycling is reuse is a form of recycling. I mean, so it's usually people think of recycling, you take stuff and you tear it down, and you right. build it back up again. Right. Yeah. Right. And I would say too, if, you know, if you if you're going to contact the Gazette about that and soon, mm -hmm. you could also suggest they have a thing in the Hampshire Life that is a is a, a bunch of photographs of a, of an event, mm -hmm. and they could come out to the recenter in the next few weekends. You know, sometime I would say have them come after 10 o'clock, you know, when it's busy, and just take a bunch of pictures of people out there, and there's a lot to take pictures of, yeah. you know. Right. Bring a reporter and get some stories. Yeah. I would recommend, uh, uh, I think that's a great idea, but I would recommend doing it in, the, in April, when we're wanting people to buy uh, stickers and wanting people that's to That's true. It's, it's if, if we're going to have that kind of a big splash, having it at the at, after we close is, yeah. is not let, it's not leveraging right but another piece of possibility is you mentioned Monday is a business section because I don't know how they decide who they highlight but if they can highlight recyclers that day or people who reuse material where do they, they highlight well, what is this? every Monday it's a business section they uh -huh. highlight some business in town and I don't know how they choose that and when they choose it but since it's the recycle day maybe they would pick someone who does recycle using as a business opportunity. Yeah. Like the Murph or the crossover uh, or local or artists that do Yeah, I mean I don't know how they decide yeah, the loop. alternative recycling. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a great idea. Thank All you right. guys. It's a good idea. Good um let's do the next meeting before we go to administrative change. Susan you have November tenth on there? Yeah, um alternate. I didn't spell alternate right. Um alternate. <laughs> I was thinking of the internet. Um, uh, I wanted to see, because of my um, because of my here. potential travel plans, uh, I wanted to see if if I am gone, um, if I need to be gone on the tenth, um, can we push it then to the seventeenth? We have that as an alternate, and then I, I'll be it's making my plans me. in the next so week or so. Okay. Should we just say the 17th? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't we just do that? Well, this is that getting too close to the toy swap, or is that fine? Uh, no. I would I rather would not, that. just because um, I, I, I might have to push everything to the 17th. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so Everybody, we're not this is Katie. Oh, Katie, this is Katie. 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 Oh, it's going to come so, out. So, we're not changing. No. Not right now. Leave until until further notice. Yeah. Can we go to ten? It is the tenth, and I will send out a. Um, I'll send out stuff. Okay. Administrative uh, change. Can we? Can we? Oh, unless we have new business. Yes, Roger. Would it be possible to set up uh, meetings like two in advance, rather than just one? Sure. Well, we. we I sent out something. In right. The so could we set December? Is set already? Is set. Okay. What about yeah. January? December. No, I just did I did two or three. Okay, so okay, great. That's all I'm asking. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's typically oh, it's the, the uh, second, it's been the second right. Thursday of the month. Yeah, I think it's December 8th. Okay. Uh, okay. That's just before the tourist farm. Right. So if we look at, yes, last week's minutes, we talked about um, waiting until more people are here to talk about the administrative change. And once again, we're missing four people. So I'm thinking that maybe we should just shelve it again. There's no hurry at this point because we've kind of missed the window to influence the mayor in his decision making. So um, I'm um, let me just confirm that, but it looks like it was he has to to make admit. Uh, 
make an administrative change in the code, you have to propose it in September. I'm fairly certain. I'm trying to remember. Uh, because it has to be vetted through city council and everything. So I'm pretty certain that there isn't a, a, a pressing reason to talk about it now, other than it was we've been talking about it and it'd be nice to get it closed. Just for but, clarification, <clears throat> would it be a committee of the city of Northampton or would it be a committee of the DPW of It would be through the DPW. So so it's, it would it would still report to them. <coughs> and um, the, the, the committee, I mean it is. I mean, you know, the thing is we already exist, so he wanted to codify and he wanted to make, you know, make it official. Um, we are without the Public Works Commission. This committee advises the mayor through me and Donna, essentially, and and that would continue. It's just that it would be written in the administrative code of the city of Northampton that this organization exists. There are pros and cons to doing that. We've talked about them. Some of them are discussed in the minutes. Um, you have a question when you're ready. Yeah. Uh, it says uh, no requirement for our committee to have a budget or manage finance. Uh -huh. Can't do that anyway. Yeah, we can. Yeah. In fact, the mayor was really pleased when we gave him our first year report. He said, "You're the only committee that gave me a report." <laughs> so yeah. and he was we, pleased. And we, and we do have no, a no I mean, cost. There's, there's no reason that know, we. Philosophy. I mean, we uh, we don't. We, we can use our rotating budget, you know, we're not part of the city budget, um, okay. but we can do certain things, I believe. Okay. As long as we can, you know, we have we're not kind of We're not required to. Right. Nor can we, nor are we required to not have a budget. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Well, um, I don't think that there's a problem But we do have a we do have a you know a philosophy a mandate whatever it is that it's not gonna, we're not going to cost the city anything. So we the you know, way to do that is to show it. Right, yeah. right, yeah. And and I can see a um, you know sometime someday having a an accurate listing of how much was paid for from the rotating fund, how much was paid for from grants, you know. To Show the zero balance at the, at the end. Yeah. It would also be nice to put what would have cost the city to get rid of 9.1 tons of materials. Well, it wouldn't have necessarily cost the city anything right. because oh, okay. people have private haulers. Well, half the city has private haulers. Or they pay disposal fees at the transfer right. station. Right, so I say half, right? Isn't yeah. it, it breaks down half and half? Well, then. Um, Who uses the transfer station no, and who has private haulers? We only have about 3,500. Out of how many households? Out of nine thousand. So thirty percent. Yeah. Okay, so thirty percent of that was diverted. Yeah. Right. But even the ones that are not diverted, the city doesn't pay for it. The people pay a disposal fee. That right. supposedly right. covers the cost. Right. right. I don't know if it does. It doesn't. It well, okay. it, it does. Right. No, it does. It it depends on the item. Well, I'm thinking of garbage. The, really the garbage the bags do not cover the, what do we pay, $3 for $3 a large bag? bag? That doesn't cover the entire cost. Oh, does it not? That, that was what Karen led uh, us to believe. It doesn't, it does, well, uh, because we contract, that might be the case, and Amherst, it used to cover it, but we were always the highest for a long time, and then everyone else kind of rose to $3, and they stayed at $3 for a long time. Mm -hmm. they, um, in Amherst. So it used to pay, but we have our own people that, right. that schlep it. So, um, so, so I, I guess I'm proposing that maybe we um, talk about this when more people are here again, or uh, just because, and then, and then we can, then I can go through the whole thing again, explain it all again to everybody in one room. I don't think anyone here is 
feeling of burning desire to okay. discuss this. <laughs> well, and if there's, there's really no rush I, at this point. I think I'm much more interested in the conversation about what we need a budget for, which we started the last time. Having that continuing discussion about whether or not we need to have auctions and other things in order to raise money for the things that we need. I mean, we should probably have a running list of those things that we are on our wish list. Uh -huh. And maybe make it part of the agenda, just as a as a sidebar. Well, so the wish list. I mean, you're right. We should spend more time on that because that was just kind of a pie in the sky thing. It hasn't been vetted, <coughs> so we should probably vet the wish list and talk about those things mm -hmm. as a next step. I think that's a great idea. And one other thought on the committee thing: if, if we need to have if we need to have something before the the mayor at some point by September, whenever he has to put it in, we should probably have a decision date. That's a good idea. Uh -huh. I think that's a great idea. Well, yeah. Um, you know, and he was just that? asking for our for our input. You know, I mean, ultimately it is his decision. But uh, I, I would love to have that done before our event, before the Reuse Center opens in the spring. Oh, okay. So that it's just done because we spend so much time in these meetings dealing with the Reuse Center and all the events that we have right. set up. If we just had that out of the way as a piece of business that was done, that would be great. Sure. By the March meeting. on the plow in the winter. So then we can talk new business, perhaps? Yep, yep new business. Um, You're on. I have, I, to I gave you guys the business cards. I guess the, uh, I don't know if I mentioned during last <coughs> meeting the update on the Springfield, uh, Springfield Catholic, Ch Catholic Charities in Springfield and the relocation of the refugees that are moving here. I don't remember any of that. They, um, so early. there are about 19, 17 to 19 families that are being relocated to Northampton. I believe they're coming in January. Um, and where are they from? Mac, the, from Syria and I uh, believe a few from Chad, mm -hmm. not 100% certain. Um, Mac first brought it to my attention, and there have been some informational meetings, and the recenter has been brought up. Um, Alyssa Klein from um, Ward 7. 7 had brought up the recenter. And so That's I. That's nice to hear. Yeah. That's yeah. really nice to hear. And so I reached out to um, the, the woman who's in charge. And said that, that the committee and I can provide assistance in, in a number of areas. One is kind of organizing the, the request and the publicity around that. Because we have a lot of experience working through certain channels, whether it's neighborhood listservs or whatever, through inexpensive channels to get the word out. And also kind of trying to target what's needed as opposed to just this kind of general we'll take anything or we need stuff because mm -hmm. I said you're going to get bombarded and I said well, there's a lot of stuff out there and you're going to get overwhelmed by, by offers so if you can narrow in the specific needs that you have and get that word out that's going to help you in the long run. So that was one area that I thought we could help her. Um, the second area is is um, figuring out how to get stuff to the families. And and one suggestion that I had was kind of a recenter model where if they can find a, a site where they can have storage, and she said that they were looking for storage sites, that you could collect the things, the types of things that they might need. Um, the federal requirements has a very narrow list of what needs to be provided to, to relocation families. But she, and she said, we want to provide more than that. And so my thought was, if you can provide the bare, bare minimum in their homes, let them settle in for a day or two, and then invite them to come shopping for the other stuff that they need, then they get to pick it out themselves. And um, it's just, and you, and you can, um, yeah. So, so that was my idea. I don't know how, how that's going to fly or not, but. 
Um, but I said, you know, so getting the stuff to the people is something that we might be also be able to help with organizationally. And then finally, the third piece is if there's remainder stuff that they don't want, we can probably help finding finding sources where it can go through our who takes what, through the recenter, some of it we may be able to store and, and give away the recenter through various partners that we have, et cetera. So um, she is the one that asked for this car seat. And um, I haven't been able to meet with her, but we've had a couple of phone calls. So I just wanted to give that update. I, I don't know what the timetable is. She said that they're already kind of getting overwhelmed by offers of yeah. help and So you're stuff. looking for storage, uh, pickup site, <coughs> and for getting rid of the stuff that's not used. Well, that's what I said. We, we I said I offered our help in these areas. Right. Right. And so um, Sue Carbon suggested some of the empty parish buildings, which is a perfect idea. Um, Two of, there's two of, there's two of them, there. and I, and I, I sent downtown. that to Big Susanna spaces. in my last nice. email. I, I made that suggestion. So yeah, I, mean, I can think pathways for my people to, <coughs> to at least for storage. <coughs> uh huh. What's pathways? Uh, co housing. Oh. Because we, we have a community building in the basement. Big basement. Big? 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 Yeah. <coughs> so, uh, and I could probably ask Rocky Hill too if they're on this doorstep. Can you? Um, to let you guys know about that and then um, this Saturday is the JFK Middle School's electronic recycling uh, fundraiser so I just wanted you guys to know about it um, 9 to 12 it is 9 to noon at JFK Middle School that's when Saturday, Saturday. same day Rain or shine. no no this Saturday this Saturday oh, okay all right Anyone else in new business? Uh, this is just a small thing, but um, the other day in the Gazette, there was an ad, there was an, a piece about the Bay State Children's Unit wanting toys. So, you're saying that they, you know, they have kids there, they need toys. So, <laughs> so out at the recenter, we did this thing yesterday where we took a bunch of toys that we thought would be appropriate. We put them in a box, cleaned them up and everything. And then I went home and I, I read the article and it was, you know, it said for more information go to blah blah blah. So I, I went there and then it said they, they'll only take brand new toys, you know, that are all wrapped up. So uh -huh. uh, it's too bad, but it's all ready for the toy exchange. It's a January. hospital situation. Yeah, it's a hospital. Yeah, that's what they said. But it, it's just it's too bad that the person that wrote the article just didn't say, you know, only brand new toys would be yeah. accepted because they're going to get deluged people that want to bring them used stuff. Well, especially stuffed animals, which we can't get rid of. <laughs> Little stuff. Always so many stuffed animals. They get recycled. So. What's that? They get recycled. They get recycled, but it's like, you know, you have like 8 million. No, you, you can't bring those to a hospital. Right. 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 Wouldn't mind getting started on it, but can we can we get the kit? There is a repair cafe this Saturday. This Saturday oh, yeah. in Pittsfield. Yeah. And it's the, the last, last one. one for 2016. Uh, I'd like to go. Would you? I I would too. I um I might have to go down to New Jersey to help my uncle, but um, I got a chair that needs to be fixed. I'm sorry. I got a, a pull-up chair that needs to be fixed. Keep it one to two items to get fixed. Yeah. So, Roger, what are the steps that we would need in order to <coughs> get a repair cafe started next April? That's what I want the kit for. Okay. The kit the, describes everything okay. out in if you, great detail, if you liability send me forms. The, the, the link. link to purchase it. Sure. I will um, confirm that we it's can get it. It's through PayPal, out. too, I think. And I don't have a PayPal account. I don't know that. Okay. Um, the, we, there is a lot of interest. Every time I post something on the Facebook page, people get really excited about it. So there is a lot of interest in that, and talking to the people of Pittsfield would be a really good thing. In fact, every time I post it, 
people post one of their things on Facebook, they always write to us and oh. say, you're welcome, come <laughs> visit, yeah. love to meet you. Yeah. So. Uh -huh. I don't know, it's a different name for the guy. There's a guy now running out of the woman before. Dan, huh. Used to, I don't know. Might be somebody else running it now. Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion. Second? Yeah. All right.